Cuban spies can operate in the U.S. as members of the Cuban Washington diplomatic staff, members of the Cuban U.N. delegation, or among Cuban immigrants arriving here. Sometimes university students and faculty that appear friendly to the Cuban revolution are recruited. As CBS News Miami's Hank Tester explains, Victor Manuel Rocha's arrest reminds many of the history of Cuban spies in South Florida. Broadcast out of Havana, a radio station sending coded messages to North America, called a number station. Who's listening? Cuban spies, Cuban operatives in the U.S., and there's lots of them. Guy Lewis, former United States attorney. There's been a long-standing presence of spies and espionage here in the United States directed by and on behalf of the Cuban government. Cuba peddled secrets, foreign actors such as Russia and China, who operate spy listening posts on the island, and to Iran. Notable as former U.S. diplomat Victor Manuel Rocha was arrested, accused of being a Cuban spy for four decades, Cuban President Miguel Diaz-Canal was arriving in Iran, meeting with top officials. They, too, are consumers of Cuban intelligence gathering. They bartered it. They sold it. They uh, used it to establish relationships. And the Cubans are good at it, regarded by government and private security experts as the best on the ground espionage operation in the world. Peter Lapp, former FBI agent, arrested Anna Boleyn Montes, Cuba's super spy. Cuba is so good at penetrating the U.S. government, unfortunately. And there's a big history of Cuban espionage in South Florida. Most prominent, September 1998, FBI, the takedown of the WASP network. 27 operatives and spies who'd infiltrated a number of Cuban exiles organizations. Cuban agents in that group involved in engineering the Cuban Air Force shoot-down of two small planes operated by Brothers to the Rescue, who helped save thousands of Cuban rafters in the Straits of Florida. Three U.S. citizens and a permanent U.S. resident died in the incident. That caused the U.S. government not, not to get closer to Cuba, and that helps help Castro stay in power. During the 1996 Brothers to the Rescue shoot-down crisis, the Cubans had their super spy, Anna Boleyn Montes, embedded in the Defense Intelligence Agency and the Pentagon. And the recently arrested Victor Manuel Rocha was stationed inside the U.S. entrance section in Havana, both allegedly reporting to the Cuban intelligence service. I mean, I hate to do it, but credit the Cuban government for being a step ahead of us. One of the targets of the WASP network was South Command, the U.S. military headquarters in Doral, which oversees U.S. military operations in the Caribbean, Central and South America. The WASP network could never penetrate, but the most recent accused spy, former U.S. diplomat Victor Manuel Rocha, did. This gentleman here in Southcom, very, very disturbing information. It's believed that over the years, there have been a number of spies in and around the Miami area, including two FIU professors. 2006, husband and wife Carlos Alvarez and his wife Elsa admitted spying for the Castro government for 30 years. But certainly a lot of folks that have conspired with Cuba uh, against the United States in, in, from an intelligence perspective and a policy perspective. As the case unfolds against Rocha, a 40-year veteran of government service, we'll learn way more about how Cuban spies have operated in our backyard. I'm Hank Tuster, CBS News, Miami.